Hello everyone. Welcome to Amigos 21st Century IAS. Today I am in conversation with my esteemed colleague Kalyan sir, who has been guiding a lot of aspirants for civil services program for many years. And the topic for discussion today will be how to be a good mentor and what a mentor is going to provide for aspirants in this particular exam. So welcome sir for the session. Thank you, Dr. Madam. Okay. It's nice to be here. Thank you for having yeah. me. Thank you, sir. Uh, in the recent years. we have seen a lot of buzz around the word mentorship and mentors so it actually reminded me of a quote i usually quote in my political science classes it is attributed to cem jord he says that socialism is like a hat which has lost its shape because too many people have worn the hat <laughs> so in this context like mentorship word is also thrown around casually by many people mm. so because you have personally guided several aspirants and you know made them clear the exam so what do you think is mentorship is all about and what is the role of a mentor so it's a very nice question so i would like to start with my favorite quote by isaac newton where he says i stand on the shoulders of giants so that i can see further okay the role of a mentor in upsc is someone with experience right for example i have been in this exam from last 12 years so if somebody starts on standing on my shoulder he will have experience which is unparalleled as a peer he will make as a fresher he will make a lot of mistakes but a mentor will try to tell him where are the pitfalls what mistakes not to do what what are the things that you should never do what are the things you should do see the mentor right guru guru shishya parampara is a, a very old indian traditional concept i have experience i am sharing my experience with you right so mentor is someone who will not only take care of you in the 2 hours of exam hall he is a person who will take care of you for 1.5 years what you deliver in the exam hall is a product of the mentor mentee relationship because this is a grueling exam as you know 1.5 years a student have to maintain that calm composure and the mindset will change from prelims to mains mains to interview and within these stages you might have highs and lows right mental health issues stress anxiety uncertainty too much randomness nowadays in the upsc there are too many things that happens in upsc so mentor is someone who will have connect with a lot of students like 10 different students at 10 different stages and we will try to bring all that knowledge and say you are not alone it can happen to anyone you are feeling stressed even an ips officer who is writing prelims again will feel stressed so this kind of knowledge transformation informal bonding with the student will make sure that he is healthy not only physically but mentally and he is maintaining that momentum for 1.5 years this is the role of mentor yeah yeah that's very elaborate i mean uh, actually as you told you know many aspirants who come to this field they want to clear the civil services exam they hear about the services from various sources but when they come to actual part of coaching and preparing for the exam many of them are in the dark given the humongous syllabus and the varied topics are, which are asked in the exam uh, many aspirants feel confused as to how to study what to study and what not to study what should be the sources and in the course of the preparation also they'll be going through high levels of stress and anxiety mm. so it's like you know people are trying to make sense of what upsc actually wants mm. it's the story of the a uh, blind man and the elephant trying to make sense of the elephant in whatever ways they can so in this particular backdrop so what can be the role of a mentor is it really important for a aspirant to, for an aspirant to have a mentor in the course of this preparation of the exam yes sir definitely i will argue that mentor is the most important thing nowadays for upsc because I, let's say i walked into some institute or i have taken coaching for 9 months after 9 months i'm kind, i'm like in a kind of a darkness right i don't know what to do what to do after the coaching till coaching was there some some faculty member will be supporting me after coaching the hand holding is more or less severed now that is a big problem because according to upsc annual reports itself the average attempt is 3 to 4 so people get into service in their third or fourth attempt not that they didn't have the knowledge they didn't have the guidance orientation i think gaurav agarwal says this very nicely his roommate uh, was already an ias officer so gaurav agarwal sir had some kind of support system when he entered upsc preparation we don't know all these things right these are all informal things somebody as an ias officer ips officer is there he is guiding you read this book just read this book don't read this so a mentor can be a peer who already cleared a mentor can be somebody with experience he will tell you 
what roads to take what roads not to take it's like standing in a junction and asking shall i go right or left if you don't ask let's say you took left you will go 4 kilometers again you have to come back 4 kilometers you wasted all that time in upsc preparation imagine 4 months wasted again you have to, it will take 4 months to recover 8 months is wasted your one attempt is gone so that is exactly where mentorship will help you to pinpointedly say you are weak in this for example csat example wise you are good in english but you are not good in reasoning so you as a student will think i will only do maths and english and i will clear this exam but a mentor will say why not even do some problems of reasoning that might look like a very small help but if the paper is so tough that you cannot attempt any maths questions like this here probably that reasoning and english combination will help you there are people who attempt only maths and reasoning but never touch english comprehension even saying such things is an advice which optional to take is an advice what books to read when you know small things like sleep cycle the other day a student messaged me at 3 am in the morning when i woke up i saw that message and the first thing i asked is not the i didn't answer the doubt the first thing i asked is what are you doing at 3 am if somebody is not sleeping at 3 am that means their sleep cycle is destroyed they are probably taking stress unable to sleep as a, as a mentor we have to tell them you know you have to take care of your health also because if your health gets spoiled okay your education or preparation will also be spoiled so mentor is someone who will take care of the 360 degrees of your preparation and support you so that that role cannot be you know uh, undermined we cannot even emphasize how important uh, a mentor is to conclude i will say pv sindhu roger federer nadal all these are world class players why do they have coaches do someone need to teach roger federer how to play tennis that is not the purpose right so a mentor even a coach for roger federer is someone who will observe you even if you are a world class player so that sums up the discussion that world class players also have coaches so why not a upsc aspirant yeah yeah it's quite interesting that you brought this aspect of guidance and direction it is very important for an aspirant especially in an exam like this uh, but a question also comes does mentorship is only limited to providing guidance and direction or does mentor a mentor also provides lessons or any kind of resources for the aspirant see now now uh, again in my personal understanding mentorship in market has been distorted to test series answer writing evaluation mcq i will i will set the question papers you have to write my test series only i will set the main so this kind of you know marketization commodification of mentorship is happening but actually mentorship is sitting with the student after what he writes sitting with him not just say you know four ticks and say improve content good four marks out of 10 that is not mentorship mentorship is you know a lot of content let's say we imagine karthik karthik you have a lot of content why didn't you bring that content into the paper that discussion will spark a lot in karthik's brain rather than the four marks i will give him that 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 is where mentorship makes all the difference in my opinion not only you know test series and all these things but it's the insights that we give him because every student have his or her own capacity everybody is a diamond in the rough so it's our job to identify where they are shining where they are lacking we have to rough you know polish the rough edges so that everybody can have a equal chance if we treat everybody in the same place i mean same level that is not mentorship that is again one more coaching i have to come down to the students level understand his or her problem one who is very good in writing but doesn't have content other have content but cannot frame it right so i think that is where uh, things land so it looks like you are nurturing and nurturing in the long run definitely so and it's a long term process it's like gardening you have to plant the seeds see them grow uh, see the fruits coming out one day finally in the list oh, the yeah exactly and it's it's a very time consuming process it's not it's it's not about commercialization it's about having a bond the trust okay yeah so that means you will be having a some certain set of parameters how to assess your mentee hmm. uh, definitely sir i mean it's again my my personal favorite word for upsc preparation is empirical data that means never prepare in imagination never ever assume that you know something when i ask students have you read lakshmikanth yes sir i know lakshmikanth then i will ask five questions again fixed questions more or less some people will answer some people won't answer if a student doesn't answer basic questions i will tell go read lakshmikanth first you assume you have read lakshmikanth but you don't even know the basic questions so like this every subject in prelims every subject in mains i have a table where uh, they have to write the sources their confidence level 
their number of revisions so after taking that into consideration i will start giving suggestions so that is how it should be it's not like again uh, just because you came to me i will ask you to read polity if you are very good in polity why read polity again it's a waste of time that means accurate assessment of accurate assessment of the student and his emotional state is also very very important somebody is very good in prelims like like literally i know two students last year they will score 120 in any given mark uh, give them any mark any famous institute or any open test they will score fantastic scores just before the exam night that person could not sleep the entire night she didn't sleep and the next day with such a mindset if you go to prelims it will definitely affect your result so 1.5 years of your preparation is ruined by one night of tension so we have to nurture them saying them you know you are good mentally strong we have to make them reach that stage only then everything will go smoothly it's not about one day event right it's it's 1.5 years of investment yeah and especially these days if we see the trends of apsc exam uh, the questions have in prelims especially recently we have seen the paper yes, uh, the questions were quite random and uh, traditional sources of you know uh, studying the exam have been seem to have been discarded by upsc mm. so in this backdrop uh, arguments are coming like you should actually go out and see the world beyond observe things have the inquisitive mind so how will a mentor will be able to help an aspirant in the current situations because there is criticism also uh, for upsc analysts that they are doing retrospective contemplation after the paper has come and they are trying to brush under the carpet about the unpredictability of upsc exam so given the uncertainties surrounding this upsc exam so what is the challenges faced by the mentor also how what challenges a mentor faces because he also is not sure about the requirement what upsc is trying to uh, assess from the student so again uh, that's a very good question sir because the uncertainties in upsc are not something new it has always been there if you take a 2017 paper back then it was considered as one of the toughest papers in 2023 prelims is definitely the one of the most toughest papers i have seen at least in last two decades so in my understanding uh, people who have prepared for mains people who have very good confidence levels uh, and people who Uh, have done all the basic stuff properly are clearing in gs in spite of all the toughness that means upsc is having certain parameters for example you should not make mistakes in polity economy or some questions in geography i am not generalizing saying every question should be correct but a good senior aspirant or a good aspirant with basics are covering at least 130 questions right so sorry you know, i mean uh, good amount of syllabus is scoring good amount of score 80 82 85 plus and 90 plus is very common among my students that means their gs is good something probably they didn't expect is the csat paper because they were not ready for the maths so that is a bouncer but luckily for me i always told my students make sure you master all the three as much as possible like at least basic maths basic reasoning and uh, definitely english you should not be afraid uh, of even attempting the english because it's a phobia right sir i don't know english you have to try improve for 6 months invest in comprehension why don't you improve so because of this most of the people are again clearing that means as long as you abide and respect to the basic rules of upsc you have a fair chance again i'm i'm also accepting uh, on record that you know good number of my students are also not making cs at this time we cannot predict or push everybody above the pass line right the cut off line but at the same time those who have respected the basics and done that to especially coming from rural backgrounds or people who cannot even speak uh, you know proper english such people are clearing cs at that shows as long as you respect the mentor trust in his wisdom and do the right things upsc is doable Okay, it's a good point you brought. Actually, I was asking the question, uh, th- about to ask the question like, what if the mentee is not serious? How will the mentor cope with the situation? <coughs> Many uh, people come for guidance. Suddenly, uh, some of people may sir, not follow what you say. Yes. So the the, the first rule, uh, the first rule for UPSC is desperation. Shraddha van labate gnanam. That means only those who have shraddha will gain the gnanam, the knowledge, right? Uh, th- there are two reasons one is a very general suggestion to the student like you do this i will give a list read this 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 books that is one kind of guidance student will obviously won't find any motivation to read okay they will drift away because distractions are easy in the present day world so they have 10000 distractions and there is only one mentor to catch hold of them 
so if the equal relation is between like if if you are equally desperate i will spend more time with you so your 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 hard work will always be respected by the mentor right and if somehow they are getting distracted it is again our responsibility to sit and talk to them like you know why are you not able to study sir i am not able to sleep because of this i have a student she, where she says uh, i i have a lot of pressure from home i have to clear this attempt anyhow then i will say you know pressure is real but because of pressure if you don't read you are definitely going to fail it's like a self fulfilling prophecy right why are you stressing out because i will fail because of stress what will happen you are not reading what will happen you will fail so you are imagining a scenario and you are making it true change the change that mindset so that the pep talks and all these things will help them so that 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 promotes seriousness and if a see if a student is really not serious the best thing to do is ask them to you know test themselves automatically they will get that fear are sir said to you know do 50 questions of pyqs or something i couldn't even solve 30 of them in spite of reading them for two times reading the lakshmi kanda and all that stuff that will create some kind of fear he will come back to us so there are there are 10000 ways i mean different different ways for different different students we have to engage them engage them we have to know them uh, that it's like you know sir indoor plants like we have indoor plant here every indoor plant have its own requirement we cannot treat them all equally some needs less water some needs more water some needs more attention some doesn't need more attention so you need to know which is which so that you can distribute your time as a teacher or a mentor to them all equally so somebody has very sharp you say them and they will understand everything and they will take it from there some people will take extra time but we have to be patiently dealing with all of them hearing all this it's it looks as if it's a very exhaustive process to mentor an, an aspirant so uh, how do you how do you personally manage your time mentoring all these aspirants uh, basically what i do is i will take like uh, monday this this group of students tuesday this the group of students so every day i have this set of people so throughout the week i will be in touch with them at the same time i will be spending time with each and every one of them so i will make someone like a very good aspirant i mean who understands or somebody who wrote mains and club them with somebody who is a very serious aspirant but who didn't clear prelims so that there is you know a fusion there is there is this positive pull virtuous cycle that mains student is reading that will act as a motivation for the very st- serious prelims student right so clubbing students making them work together sharing their experiences will also help a lot so the burden will be distributed at their level also so uh, lastly uh, what message do you have for the students who are writing mains this year especially after they have come out of this kind of prelims exam uh, definitely uh, expect you know lot of uh, you know twists and t- turns in the mains paper also but at the same time as long as you stick to the basics that is your optional uh, ethics essay and your gs paper 1 paper 2 and paper 3 is where you basically can throw bouncers right but paper 2 and paper 3 is a bouncer for everyone then it's a bouncer for you also so that should help you you should maintain their composure and just and, and definitely sir one last thing that i would like to say to all people who are interested in what is understanding of mentorship mentorship is more about an ecosystem mentorship is about ecosystem imagine a room full of 30 mains writing aspirants okay everybody equally desperate to clear pains okay the the, the sheer vibe in that room is unexplainable 30 people everybody having a cutthroat competition equally talented having the same fire wanted to you know clear this exam that kind of ecosystem if we can nurture and you know produce or create and maintain automatically that will motivate students like anything else it's it's if if mentor is 50% important the other 50% is ecosystem the the vibe that the student will have right again 99% hard work has to be done by the student that 1% vibe is where we have to succeed that in my understanding is a very good mentorship platform not test series alone or not thing that that bond home between the students the teacher the institution the ecosystem everybody have one dream that is for you to be in service my dream is for that student to be in service his dream is to be in the service everybody have the same dream there is no vested interest that is when automatically the results will come in so that that is my dream beautifully you summed up what is mentorship that is what i personally also have been seeking in film. so uh, very thank you sir for providing your uh, your valuable inputs uh, and i'm sure students watching us will find this conversation very helpful 
should you have any questions regarding mentorship or any question regarding civil services please feel free to comment below so that's it for today uh, thanks again kalyan sir for joining with us we'll come up with more such sessions in future all the best thank you